about to do a power window motor replacement on my uh, 77 Can-Am and uh, what I've done is uh, diagnosed a couple things and obviously the main issue is uh, slow window down and almost no movement up and I'll show you what's going on here. I've got the uh, window switch attached here to the harness so It goes down pretty good and then going up it is extremely slow and it typically won't go up without a little assistance but it looks like it's gonna go almost all the way up okay it stops about an inch so what I've done is I lubricated all the tracks in there, all the rollers, any pivot points on the uh, the uh, regulator, and I still can't get it to speed up much. So what I'm going to end up doing is replacing uh, this motor right here um, with a known good one. So I've got one right here that I've tested, and I'll show you how I've tested that. Basically a bench test. Okay, so I've got this good uh, power window motor here. I've got a ground attached to a uh, M12 Milwaukee battery and I've got the uh, positive on this alligator clip right here. So technically should be able to touch this pin and get it to go. Of course this gear is going to want to work its way out. And then touch the other pin and it goes the other direction. I also lube this up real good before I hooked it up to the battery so it spins pretty good. And uh, that just sits down in there. It's got a little seal uh, that keeps the grease from oozing out. So I'll probably clean up uh, the teeth here. Seems to be some hardened grease on here. So I'll get that cleaned up before I install it. And I'll compare the two motors. Now, sometimes, and I don't know where the year break is. I think it might be 77 on this vehicle. They have one of the pins here turned uh, 90 degrees to the other. So I'll have to check that on the window motor that I pull out and see if I have to make a, an adapter or uh, go through my stash and find uh, one of these motors that has the different plug set up. But uh, be aware of that, that there's two different designs. All right, this uh, window motor has three 7 16 bolts that hold it in. And you really got to work your way around here to get these uh, loosened. There's not a lot of room to get your hands in here. And I've got some shorty wrenches here to work with so I'll get those broken loose and then before I take it out I'm going to uh, prop up the window just so it doesn't fall down when the motors pulled out and you gotta remember it's facing you so it's the opposite direction of what you think you may need to turn it so essentially that's what your bolts gonna look like it's got the serrated uh, washer on here that helps lock it into place. So I got two more of those in there, but before I take those out, I want to get something propped up in here to keep the window from falling. I'll show you what I mean. Okay, before I pull the window motor out, I want to make sure I've got something underneath the glass. So I've got this screwdriver right here and I'm going to kind of, I don't know if you can see that. Um, the uh, inner structure of the door, it's got a impact brace on there and I've got it resting, the end of the screwdriver resting on that and then the rest of it is underneath the glass. So uh, not much chance of the glass dropping when I pull the uh, window motor out now. So I would recommend doing something like that. Let's get this window motor out and see if it wants to drop or not. It's The regulator's spring-loaded, 
so it has a tendency to want to hold the glass up but uh, depending on the age of the spring and how much it's been used over the years it may want to drop and that's why I always put something underneath the glass just to be sure but let's see uh, what happens okay so I can get the other two bolts out of here and the last one Okay, you can see this gear mechanism pops out pretty easily, just like the other one that I showed you. And now we can unplug this thing and find out what kind of plug that we've got on here. And we are in luck. This is the same style as the one that we're going to put in here. So I think we're good there. We'll see if the part number is the same. Looks like it's the same exact part number. Sometimes uh, you can take these things apart. They've got a rubber coating on here to keep it sealed from, you know, the weather. But you can see here, there's quite a bit of corrosion at the bottom of this thing. There's three long bolts that hold it all together and you can take the end of this thing off and get to the armature and everything and clean it up and try rebuilding it. The uh, replacement motors that they have on eBay and stuff are relatively cheap. I think I've seen a pair of these go for under 150 bucks, I think. And those replacement motors a lot of times will come with a pigtail that will work with either design of these window motors uh, with the one prong that goes uh, 90 degrees to the other. So uh, it works, you know, either way. You use the uh, pigtail on the ones that require. I think, like I said, it's like 77 was the, the break off. So it might be that 77 and up uses this plug and 76 and down uses the plug that has prong that goes 90 degrees. So I'll follow up on that and see what I can find on that. but. That's pretty much it, uh, getting that thing out. You can kind of see there's a, a bushing in there that the uh, gear mechanism uh, rides on. So that shaft there is centered on that, uh, that bushing. And then of course your three bolt holes to mount the new motor in there so i'll get all this i want to put some grease in there get some grease on the teeth and then we'll give it a test after everything's bolted back up another thing i want to point out is uh on this gear mechanism here you can see the um the seal that goes around here that keeps the grease packed in here on this uh plastic gear uh the other thing is you'll notice that there's a spring mechanism on the outside here and that kind of softens the blow when you engage the window motor uh, up and down so it's got a little bit of cushion another thing here to point out is i mentioned that these um, gears have kind of like a spring clutch on them to, to absorb the uh, impact when you hit uh, full bottom or full top uh, on the travel of the window. Now this appears to be a 77 and up design and here's one from I want to say a 75 uh, vehicle and this basically is just a uh, almost like a rubber damper that does absorb some of the impact so it's not a solid piece like this one with the spring on it this is actually rubber around here, so I'm assuming that's how they designed these to absorb that uh, abrupt stop when it was going up or down. Let's see if I can pop this guy out so you can kind of see the difference on the back side. So they both have the seals that go around them. 
and they both have the same size dowel pin that goes into the housing. Uh, appears that the gears are set up the same way on that side as well as this side. Just another variation in these two designs. Alright, got this uh, gear here greased up as well and the bushing that it goes into so I'm going to go ahead and get this guy mounted in there and put the plug on first. And this only goes on one way. Just make sure that shaft goes into the bushing, get it seated in there, and then start one of your bolts. And hope you don't drop it. And that one started. Get that one started. Like I said, you don't have a lot of room to work in here, but you can get in there. Okay. Both, all three of those are snugged up. I'll put the wrench on them. Let's see. Get a little more leverage with a longer wrench. Okay. And then the last one. Down here at the bottom. Okay. That one's on there. Double check the other two. That's tight. And that's tight. All right, now we'll take out our tools here. And there was a little bit of pressure on the uh, screwdriver that I had propped up underneath the glass, so it did drop some. So it is a good idea to keep it propped up while you're doing this. Now, let's see what happens. Whoa, that's 100% better. Got a good motor. Now keep in mind too, when your vehicle is running, it's gonna run a lot faster uh, up and down especially in the uh, going in the upward uh, direction. The other thing to think about too is um, when you're comparing window speeds to the uh, driver's side versus the passenger side, the passenger side is always going to be slower because this harness has to go all the way across to the master switch on the driver's side to operate and all the resistance in the wire is going to slow it down a little bit. So I've noticed that on all the uh, a bodies I've worked on over the years that uh, the passenger side is always slower than the uh, driver's side so like I said keep that in mind. Another thing uh, I think I pointed out on uh, my previous uh, video on uh, replacing window sweeps is you'll notice that the regulator um, used for these power window setups um, on the later model uh, I think it started in maybe 75 uh, to 77 they were riveted on and I believe 73 and 74 actually had uh, like nut certs on the back of these so there was bolts just like the bolt used to uh, mount the power window motor uh, was used to mount the actual regulator to the inner door if you do have to replace your regulator you got to drill these out and um, I would invest in a nut cert a uh, rivet gun and put those on the regulator on the back side here. It makes life a lot easier. All right, and here's the uh, power window regulator uh, that uses the threaded, I want to say nut cert or riv nut type connection. It's already got threads in the regulator itself with this little bolt. So 
This is the earlier version, and like on the 77 k and I'm working on, it uses rivets. Also, uh, one of the reasons why you may have an issue with the windows going up very slow is this spring here gets weak, and I've even seen these break. So if your power window uh, goes down really fast and doesn't hardly go up at all, this is probably your uh, number one suspect here. Okay, here's what I was talking about with the connections on the bottom of these power window motors. The one on the right is a, I believe, 77 and up through, I want to say early 80s when they switched over to the smaller power window motors. And then the one on the left has one of the prongs on the plug that's 90 degrees to the other. And I believe that is for 76 on down and uh, maybe into the late 60s, early 70s. So be aware of that difference in the plugs when you're doing these power window motors. Curiosity, again, got the best of me. So I had to take this old window uh, motor apart. And there's three long bolts that hold the housing to the uh, gearbox. There's also three spot welds at the bottom I had to grind out. There's one there, one there, and one here in the corner. So, actually it's right here. I guess this is the armature. It's got a bushing in there. It's able to pivot. And then you have a connection going to your plug right there that I actually had to cut apart to get in here. And then here's your worm gear uh, going up into the uh, gearbox housing. I'll take this gear out and that would go up in here. And then right against that gear. And here's the main housing for the motor. You got your brushes here, your windings down here, and that's where I cut that plug away right here. Otherwise, I was not able to get that out. So, not sure how you would get that out otherwise. So, um, so as far as sending these things out to have rebuilt, I'm not sure how they go about doing that. And uh, there's contact point in there, and that might be like a thermal limiter of some sort. If it gets too hot, it'll break the contact. Not sure about that. But anyways, there's the part number, 1718903. And again, the housing will come apart with these three long bolts removed. It just only removes this top portion. And then you can see the brushes and everything from that point. But you can see here that this is pretty dirty and probably had a bad contact and there's corrosion on this uh, starting on this armature here so there's probably several things going on here just the fact that it was so corroded here at the bottom maybe there was bad connections down here but I'm gonna chalk this up as uh, this uh, window motor being toast so hopefully this helped uh, somebody out if you have any questions or comments uh, leave them below of course uh, appreciate any likes subscribes just sharing this out with other people. If you have any ideas for future videos, uh, put that in the comments below as well. And I've got a lot of A-body projects working right now. I've uh, got the Hearst Olds over there, uh, pretty much completely naked, ready for uh, epoxy primer. And uh, working on a uh, 75 Grand Am as well as this 77 k and So. Anything you'd like to see on those vehicles, like I said, put it in the comments below and uh, I'll try to get a video out on whatever you're working on. So again, appreciate y'all watching and uh, stay tuned for new videos.